Hello, yeah. I'm Bob from Gazelle Crafts. Um, I'm just going to run through the uses of the uh, teapot bird feeder or nest box. Now, the teapots are actually screwed onto uh, reclaimed pine and then they're topped and bottom with either larch, oak, depending what wood we're working with. So the teapots, the big ones like this, can be either used as a nest box or as a bird feeder. If you're using it as a, as a nest box, then something like this would go up to finch size, so it, it would do the open nesting, open fronted nesting birds. So finches, sparrows, chaffinches, that sort of thing, happily use those. They want to be mounted, and they've got a mount on the back. They can be mounted on a tree, or you can even do what I've done here around to the side. I've put a, a post in, concreted that in, put it up against the hedge. So it's about six foot or so up with a bit of cover. And that one's actually got a wooden port in the front specifically for blue tits, long tail tits and cold tits. Mm. But you could do the same with the open fronted one like I was just showing. Now if you want to get um, robins, wrens and flycatchers nesting, then you mount them below three feet with a bit of cover. So what I've done is I've actually concreted in a post and then mounted it onto the post and then I'm letting the hedge just go round. So you can still see it, but it's framed by it. And as I say, robins and that will love that. Now, going back to the one I've got here, if you want to use it as a feeder rather than a nest box, then I would block the spout by putting something like gaffer tape over the inside. Um, height doesn't matter with this one, how high you're going to do it, but I would tend to do it at least five foot up. Um, either mount it on a post, on a wall, whatever. Um, and then you can put seed in there. Now the advantage of using a teapot as a bird feeder is the size of the opening restricts the size of the bird that can get in there. So on our website you'll see we have some teapots that have quite small openings so you'd be restricting it down to things like blue tits, sparrows, finches that could get in there. This one a little bit bigger birds could get into. And because of the shape of the pot when the birds are ruxing around it tends to keep more of the seed in the pot rather than on the floor where you're going to attract rodents. The lid here is mounted more for show, for decoration than anything else, but sometimes what I do is I'll, I'll put a little bit of fruit in there for the blackbirds and that. Okay, as I mentioned they all come with a hanger mounted on the back and if you'd like to see more information on that or a selection of uh, what teapot bird feeders nest boxes we've got go to Gazelle Crafts Dot com and you can purchase them from there. Thank you very much for watching.